Marquise Hollywood Brown. I love the way that flows. How are you? <laughs> wow, I'm good. You deserve my nickname. You're the big NFL wide receiver. In your third year, you've already got more yards and receptions than your first two seasons. So what's been the key for you from a leadership standpoint and having success with the Ravens this year? Uh, really paying attention to the details and really just honing in and watching film. And that's what I tell the young guys, you know, you can learn a lot by just watching film and studying your opponents. Well, speaking of studying film, you had a great play earlier in the season. You had a catch and spin move for the first down. How much are you studying the cornerback so you can instinctively know where they're attacking you from? Uh, I study them a lot and it helps. Early in the season here, I had a uh, motion across the field, and this guy kind of followed me across the field. So I kind of knew where he was going to be. So right when I catch it, I spin out. Uh, I knew he was coming inside out, so I caught it. I kind of stuck my left foot in to pivot out and was able to break the tackle and get the first down. I think if I wasn't studying this guy, I probably wouldn't even known to, you know, react like that. Hollywood, I know you and the guys learn so much from the game based on the technology you're able to have access to. And for receivers that play with mobile quarterbacks, you have such a huge role in trying to extend those plays. So how do you know where to go when your quarterback is scrambling? Uh, we got something called, you know, scramble drill. We all got vertical routes here. You know, our quarterback scrambles right. You want to come back to the ball and let this guy occupy the deep ball. And then you want to have this guy right here just cut cross. You want to have three levels uh, deep, uh, intermediate, and a, a short throw. All right, let's start with a clean board here. What if the quarterback moves from here and ends up going over here? So what I would do, if I'm the deep guy, I will come here, then we have the medium, and then we'll have the short. As long as it's three levels, no matter where, which side of the field he goes, we should be all right and we should have a play. Very cool, that's awesome. Are you also using tech to manage your day-to-day -day responsibilities? It's just about standing on schedule all week, being a professional. It's a lot of on my plate, but I gotta handle my business. Let me pull up my calendar. So this is what a week look like for me, um, even down to this interview right here. I got a film review, you know, I got my position meetings, I have dinner. Uh, down to even my own personal time of just, you know, watching some movies on Tuesdays, you know, some personal time for myself. Is there something that's not on your calendar? Uh, definitely. Uh, something that takes a lot of my time that's not here is probably video games. Uh, I'm a gamer. Uh, I stream. So that's something that I do probably every single day. <laughs> well, hey, Hollywood, I know I've kept you a long time, but uh, one more thing I've got before I let you go, and I'm going to do a little snap assist here on Windows 11, and I need a snapshot assist from you. So what do you think, Hollywood? Who is this little guy? <laughs> <laughs> That's me. How'd y'all get that? <laughs> oh, we have our ways. We have our secret ways. What do you remember from these playing days? Man, these was the good old days, man. We was just out there having fun. I love it. Well, hey, it's been great talking with you, Hollywood. Thanks, Captain. I really enjoyed it. Go Ravens. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.